Ok, time to make use of that magnifying glass I know you're hiding in your drawer. You're about to test your detective and logical skills. And since I said test, don't forget to count your correct answers and check the results at the end of the video. Ready to dive in? Good! I've got just the thing. Number 1. Two buckets You have two buckets of water. In the first bucket, the water is heated up to 100 degrees. In the second bucket, the water is cooled down to minus 100 degrees. You need to simultaneously drop two coins into the buckets. Which coin will reach the bottom faster? The coin thrown into the warm water. The other won't sink at all because the water in the bucket is frozen. Let it go! <laughs> Number 2. A punctured tire A man was driving his car all the way from New York to Boston. Only at the end of the trip did he discover that one of his tires had been punctured from the very beginning. Still, he managed to reach his destination successfully, and his journey wasn't affected by this problem at all. How is it possible? The punctured tire was a spare one. Number 3. Notorious Bank Robbers Detectives had been trying to catch two infamous bank robbers for several years. And finally, after another robbery, they managed to capture one of the criminals. Police officers were interrogating him for two days. But he said nothing about the stolen money or his accomplice's whereabouts. Still, in the next 24 hours, the detectives managed to find the place where the money was hidden. It was a small house in the suburbs. In its basement, there was a man who seemed very excited to see the police. He said he had been trapped in the house already for a week. Nobody visited him, and he was starting to run out of food. That's why he was so happy to read the good news in the paper. The police officers immediately realized it was the accomplice they'd been looking for. How? If he was trapped in the basement, how could he get a hold of fresh newspapers? Uh-huh. 4. A useful fruit Which fruit can you use to sip water? Strawberry. Ah, gotcha! And yes, strawberries are a fruit since they have seeds on the outside. 5. Guard Robots You got trapped in a bizarre room. Shiny, made of steel, and with no windows, it has two doors. One leads to freedom. Some danger is looming behind the other. You don't know which door can save your life. Two robots are guarding these doors. They're ready to allow you to leave through one of the doors. But once you choose a door, you can't change your mind. On the bright side, <laughs> you can ask one of the robots a single question. But one of them always tells the truth, and the second always lies. Again, you don't know which is which. What question should you ask? If I asked the other robot which door was safe, what would it answer? The honest robot is going to tell you the truth and point at the dangerous door. And the liar is going to, well, lie, and also point at the dangerous door. All you need to do is to leave through the other door. Number 6. A tricky ploy A big company director returned from lunch and discovered that his safe had been broken into and all the money had been stolen. Inside, he saw a note, don't even consider calling the police. Well, the man did exactly the opposite. He called the police and told them he suspected that his half-brother David had committed this crime. One of the police officers visited David and asked him several questions. But the man showed the detective his right arm, which was in a cast. Look, I broke my arm just a couple of days ago. I couldn't get into my brother's office or write a note. The police officer had nothing to do but leave. He decided to have lunch in a cafe across the road from David's apartment. Half an hour later, the detective noticed the man leaving home. At that very moment, 
the detective realized that the brother had stolen the money and rushed to arrest him. How did he understand? The police officer noticed that while leaving his apartment, David had the cast not on his right, but his left arm. 7. A smuggler Police knew that one businessman smuggled diamonds, but they couldn't prove it. The man flew all over the world and always brought along a small suitcase. Since the businessman never used hotel toiletries, there was always the same necessities in his suitcase. His pajamas, a shirt, a pair of jeans, socks, a razor, a tube of toothpaste, some shaving cream, a hairbrush, soap, a bottle of perfume, and a towel. The detective invited to help with the case looked through this list and found out what object the businessman used to smuggle diamonds. Can you figure it out as well? The man smuggled precious gems in the tube of toothpaste. He always carried it in his luggage, but never had a toothbrush. Eh, must have had some bad breath as well. <laughs> Number 8. Family Ties Little Jamie points at someone and says, She's the daughter of the only child of my grandmother. Is this someone related to Jamie? Yes, it's his sister. 9. A dangerous box You're locked in a basement. If you want to get out of there, you have to put your hand in one of three boxes. The first box contains rats, the second is filled with snakes, and in the third one, there are spiders. Which box should you choose? Considering you don't know which species are hidden in the boxes, you need to figure out which animals are the least dangerous. Rats spread loads of diseases that can affect your health. To catch some nasty germ, it's enough to touch the rodent. About 15% of all snake species are dangerous to people. Out of more than 35,000 existing spider species, only several dozens, way less than 1%, can produce venom that's toxic to people. In other words, opt for spiders. Even though the whole experience might be disgusting, it's the least risky. Still, you go first. Number 10. Important documents. John, the director of a big company, managed to persuade his partners to sign a super important agreement. He then put this document into a folder and left it on the table in his private office. When he arrived at work the next morning, the folder was gone. John gathered all the employees who were in the office at that time and questioned them. The cleaning lady said that she had been busy washing the floor and hadn't paid attention to anything around. The designer explained that he hadn't left his working place even once. What's more, being an artist, he didn't have any interest in agreement documents. The accountant admitted that he had entered John's office to have some documents signed, but once he noticed there was no one inside, he immediately left. Who stole the folder with the agreement? It was the designer. Otherwise, how would he know that the missing folder had an agreement inside? Number 11. The day of the week riddle. If today is Friday, what day of the week will it be in 72 days? Sunday. 72 days equals 2 weeks plus 2 more days. Friday plus 2 days is Sunday. 12. Socks Puzzle Matthew wears either only black or only white socks. One evening, he's in a hurry getting ready for a romantic dinner with his girlfriend. Suddenly, the power goes out. The guy has 10 white and 10 black socks in his drawer, but all of them are mixed. If it's completely dark in the room and Matthew can't see anything, how many socks must he pull out of the drawer to get two matching ones?
Just three. In a set of three socks, he's bound to have two socks of the same color. 13. Spring months. What can you see in the middle of March and April that you'll never see in any other month? The letter R. Are you kidding me? Number 14. A ghost story. Jessica is in an abandoned house that has a bad reputation for being haunted. The girl is in a dark room, and she knows that there's a ghost inside. At the same time, she's the only one in the room. How is it possible? Jessica is the ghost. Number 15. A border issue. Once, a car was found right on the border between two countries. The car was empty, and its trunk was filled with gold coins. The customs officers immediately realized that someone was trying to smuggle gold across the border. But which country's border guard should investigate this case? Border guards aren't supposed to investigate anything at all. That's what the police do. I know you've been waiting for the results. Hmm, let's see. If you've solved one to five riddles, practice more. Consider turning puzzle solving into an everyday activity, or look for some detective courses. If you've answered correctly to six to ten riddles, you're halfway there. Not a certified detective yet, but a detective's assistant for sure. If you've had 11 to 15 solved cases, hey, welcome on board! You have the full right to be on the same team with Sherlock Holmes and other legendary detectives. Hey, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. And here are some other videos I think you'll enjoy. Mm -hmm. Just click to the left or right, and remember, stay on the bright side of life!